This particular group is a bit different than the turtles and tortoises because for one thing they don't have that hard protective shell or scales on their back. Lizards though are pretty amazing animals. They live probably in the more extreme environments than any other reptile. Where snakes and turtles and tortoises would not be found, lizards would be found. So let me bring out my very first lizard. I need a volunteer for that. Great, come on up here. Your name is? Okay, Tyler, right here, have a seat. And we are going to be bringing out a lizard that lives in the Australian desert. And this guy is quite a survivor. He has, whoa, there we go. He has great color camouflage, looks just like sand. He also has some really good nails for climbing rocks. Ooh, and he thinks you're very handsome. Check him out, he's called a bearded dragon. Look what he is doing, he's demonstrating exactly why they are called a bearded dragon. Okay, big guy, when he gets excited, obviously pulling him out of his carrier made him a bit excited and seeing some new people, he stretches out a special bone up here under his jaw called a hyphoid bone. And that hyphoid bone expands and then he changes the color under his throat to become a dark brown or black. What color is it right now? Black. So that's where he gets the name, Bearded Dragon. Great. I'm going to set him right there in your hands and you can hold him there for me. We're going to learn about a difference between a desert lizard and a jungle lizard. So this is my little guy Petey and Petey is called a bearded dragon. They look a lot like a lizard that's found here in the United States called a horny toad. Actually, horny toads used to be found all over the Southern California area, but that's changed because we've built over their habitats. We've built homes where they used to live in these desert regions, and now horny toads are few and far between, where bearded dragons are very, very common. The jungle lizard I'm going to bring out would not survive a day in this animal's environment. He's a little bit wigglier. Ugh, here we go. He's called, he's another type of a dragon. He's called a Chinese water dragon. Now I left some scales on here today because he is shedding or molting. I left him on to show you how it slides right up and off and over the existing scales that are underneath. So these are all brand new fresh scales or spines on his back. This desert guy, the Chinese water dragon, is very different from his distant relative, the bearded dragon from Australia. For one thing, he is found in China and other Asian countries, but this particular guy spends most of his time not on the ground, but up in the trees. So he too has hooked toenails for climbing. A lot of people think he looks a lot like an iguana, yes. But this particular animal is not a vegetarian, he's a meat eater. And he'll run and dart from tree to tree, grabbing small mammals like mice, sometimes birds out of nest, bugs, he loves bugs, cockroaches and crickets, worms are delicious to him. But also, he can spend a great deal of time around pond's edge low branches of the water, and he can even dive in and grab fish. So he does a lot of different type of hunting in the jungle. Let's take a look at the differences in the color. Desert, jungle, pretty obvious.